why be in a business that your consumer, your, your potential customer is unaware of all the great things that you can do? You're listening to Cairo Candy, the podcast of sweet chiropractic success. Now, here's your host, Billy Sticker. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of the Cairo Candy Podcast. Uh, today, I have on uh, a longtime friend. We met, gosh, seven, eight, nine years ago, maybe. Yeah, maybe uh, more than that. Yeah, it's it's been a minute, uh, Dr. Rob Hannapol, and so glad you're on, doing some great stuff with uh, lasers. He's been serving, been a chiropractor, been serving chiropractors with different things for a long time. Uh, Dr. Hannapol, so glad uh, to have you on. Thank you. I'm glad to be on and, and share the message because, uh, you know, our profession uh, is an amazing profession, but we have a lot of challenges and, uh, you know, we feel we have a lot of solutions. I had a coffee with a group of guys this morning and we do this every Wednesday, um, every other Wednesday. But we were talking about just serving people You're like what are like that should be just as humans. How can we serve people? How can we take what we know, what we've learned, and serve other people? And I know we're going to get into that because that's really what you guys have done uh, with uh, Relief Now, with the lasers. So before we dive too deep into that, why don't you give us a little brief background of uh, just your chiropractic story and then and how this the new venture started? Sure. Well, you know, it actually goes back before chiropractic because my chiropractic story actually started out uh, when I was working in Manhattan um, for a very high-end consulting company that was uh, you know, doing branding and positioning and management consulting uh, you know, strategies for Fortune 500 companies. And that was my background. You know, I was, a, I was a, a business major in college and I actually loved what we were doing but I hated the corporate world, Billy. You know, I, I just couldn't stand, you know, the politics and, and the whole corporate thing. And when I was in college, you know, what my friends were saying to me, you know, uh, are you going to go to chiropractic school with us? You know, we all loved chiropractic. Um, but I chose the business route first. And then when I realized I really didn't like that whole corporate structure and the corporate environment, I was really more of an entrepreneur and found myself during lunch you know, literally walking into chiropractic offices and always, you know, going to other chiropractors. I said, you know what? I'm going to make a change. I'm going to use everything that I've learned, you know, in the consulting world and apply it to chiropractic. Um, and, you know, so so throughout, you know, my chiropractic uh, career, you know, I've been involved in multiple offices. Uh, I've had a, a book company called Totally Booked Practice. That's how we met, right? Yep at a seminar where we uh, help doctors to uh, write and become uh, nationally published authors of their own books and show them how to become the most well-known, well-respected, you know, authority in their community. Cause if you have a book, you know, you automatically become an authority. Um, and um, you know, this, this uh, latest uh, concept that we're going to talk about today, you know, was just, it just kind of came, you know, to me through through using the technology. It just made so much sense and solves a lot of problems, you know, for our profession. You know, so you know, just to back up for a second, um, I have an amazing partner uh, and co-founder, you know, Dr. Mike Rubenstein, and I presented, you know, this the idea to Mike, and uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, really, you know, solidified that you know, relationship, uh, in terms of building this and, um, you know, sky's the limit, you know, we love it. You know, we work real hard diligently every day, you know, to build this, you know, for our profession and, and really for our, uh, you know, for our communities. So let's say that I'm a chiropractor and I've, I've really, I've just been straight chiropractic. Great. Um, but I'm interested in using a laser in, in my practice, really you don't know a whole lot about it. Maybe I've got a couple of friends that, you know, have it implemented uh, into their practice. What, just at the basics, give me some of the benefits of how it helps the patients. And then we'll talk about how it helps the offices. Yeah. Well, laser is just a tremendous technology. I started using it 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, prior to, you know, when we met, you know, I used a lot of lower powered lasers, the class 3B lasers, then uh, started using more class 4 lasers. Billy, I just started noticing incredible results with the patient uh, because laser really helps to heal tissue. Uh, so I found it as a great adjunct, you know, to chiropractic. It was great to use with chiropractic. Um, laser helps to increase cellular metabolism, speed up ATP production, increase collagen, circulation, oxygenation. It's just, it's a fantastic modality, fantastic technology. Um, but what I realized was that there's a huge difference between being a chiropractor with a laser or actually having laser as a centerpiece you know, or a laser pain center, it's completely different. Um, listen, our profession, chiropractic, is amazing. We help so many people. Um, you know, uh, I was practicing very, you know, uh, I wouldn't say straight chiropractic. I use modalities, but I, I'm very philosophically based. I love the philosophy of chiropractic. But, you know, there's a lot of uh, challenges, Okay. And one of the big challenges I noticed was that, you know, uh, you know, we're really only seeing 10, maybe 11 percent of the population. And that that really bothered me. You know, right. like, why, why am I in a field that only 10 or 11 percent of the population will see me because the other 90 percent, you know, are misinformed or, you know, they, they've heard something negative about my profession. They'll never come see me. I mean, always bother me you know why can't i have access to everybody give me an opportunity you know to show you how i can help you rather than only 10 percent, you know would even give me the time of day okay i also couldn't stand um being so localized you know when i was in consulting we worked with you know national global companies but here i was you know in my you know main office in in plantation florida literally attracting patients from a five mile or maybe only a 10 mile radius. Like I, I felt so limited, like, you know, it just, it just wasn't, you know, enough of a reach, you know, or influence for me. Cause you know, we have a great message. Um, I also couldn't really think I felt limited that if another DC was seeing the patient, I didn't have access to that patient. Okay. Because if they were being treated chiropractically, I still did not have the ability to positively influence that patient, you know, in any way, because they already had a chiropractor. And then also, you know, unfortunately, as much as we like to think differently, um, and we understand that, you know, the subluxation, uh, you know, affects every part of the body, the general public, they don't really understand that, you know, they don't really know that. They look at a chiropractor and they say, you know what, you're a back and neck doctor. And right. I wanted to have access, you know, to more of, of the, you know, the whole body and the shoulders and the knees and the ankles and the feet and, you know, other, other, other things that we can help the patients with. But every time I would tell the patients, you know, I can, I can help your shoulder, I can help your foot. I felt that they were hearing out of my mouth, back and neck, back and neck, back and neck, you know, they, they weren't putting two and two together or looking at me as really, you know, the, the specialist or the provider for that, right? So as much as laser is unbelievably um, uh, just, just so beneficial for, for you know, can all patients, uh, you know, their musculoskeletal, neuromusculoskeletal conditions, um, it just dawned on me that laser is actually a business model, Okay. You can't have the hot pack center. It, it, you know, you can, but you're going to go out of business. You know, pretty, <laughs> sure. Right. Or the muscle stim center, or for that matter, I don't even think you could have this, you know, shockwave is getting really popular now, but nobody wants to get shocked. But you surely can have a laser pain center. Okay. Because you have laser eye, laser surgery, la you know, laser lends itself. The word the technology lends itself to a business model. Okay. Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah. So, so, you know, I was like, wow, you know, there's just this, a huge difference, you know, of a chiropractor with a laser or a laser pain center. 
even though same doctor, same office, same equipment, completely different business model, completely different result. Before we go into the the exact business model of, I know what you guys are doing now. Um, if someone just typically, they're like, okay, you know what? I'm sold. I w- I'm going to go invest in a laser. Uh, what are some ways that you that you s- have people or that you would recommend to people to actually start implementing laser into their practice? Like they've already got their steady flow of, you know, current patients coming in. They just get this laser. What next? Okay. Um, really start asking your patients about other conditions that they're experiencing beyond the back and neck. You know, I tell our, our, our doctors all the time, you know, um, you know, have paperwork or incorporate it into, you know, your digital EHR, but something where it actually says, you know, are you also currently suffering or do you have a friend or family member that's suffering from any of these other joint conditions, shoulders, knees, ankles, feet, wrists, hands, because most patients, again, you know, are coming to the office and, you know, they're thinking back and neck. Okay. Back and neck, back and neck. So really just ask your patients internally. I've seen offices flourish. I mean, just grow unbelievably from just asking their patients, do you or anyone that you know have these other conditions and then reframing it. Okay. As it's really more of a, of of an energetic regenerative medicine, okay? Because everybody today is, you know, hearing about regenerative medicine, but it's based on chemistry, all right? So, you know, uh, we're working on, um, you know, looking at this from more of of a energetic standpoint because we're moving from chemistry medicine to energy medicine. And then the patients start to see that you have something else that you can offer them of value. And they don't have to go to another provider for it. So yeah. they, they'll see, you know, you start attracting patients that already have chiropractors, but they're coming to you for something different. So you're not taking them away from, like, if you were the chiropractor, you know, I wouldn't be taking them away from you. We're just providing them with something that the other office may not even provide. So we yeah. have patients all the time that will say things like, hey, you know, is it okay if I go see, you know, Dr. Sticker? Uh, you know, for my adjustment afterwards. We say, sure. So we're treating them for conditions, you know, that they didn't really even think or their their other chiropractor may not treat. And then they're still getting their adjustment with their chiropractor, but we would never be helping this patient. We'd be never be doing any commerce, you know, any business, you know, with that patient. And, uh, you know, so it just really opens up you know, a whole nother, you know, uh, stream of revenue and the ability to help more people. That's the most important thing. You know, the, the revenue uh, should always be a byproduct. Oh stuff. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's what I love about this too, is the, what you were saying or just really hit home. You're it's okay. If they're seeing another chiropractor, right. now you can still get in front of those people with something different. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm imagining, uh, I think you and I have talked about this before. I used to work in office for a chiropractor. We had multiple locations. Uh, I was the marketer. I was the one doing all the screenings. I was always out in the community. And anything we could bring with us to show that we weren't your standard chiropractor is what we wanted to do. You know, just having things. Because people, I think as a profession, we can all agree that we've done a horrible job telling the population what chiropractic is. Right. It's not just neck pain and back pain. Chiropractic, unfortunately, has really in the mind of the patient. See, it's a lot different in the mind of the patient and the mind of the doctors. In the mind of the patient, we become so commoditized. Okay. Where, like, let's say you specialize in Gonstead technique, and I specialized in upper cervical, and someone else specialized in Thompson, another one was diversified. The public has no clue. We've never really made them aware of this. We've never educated on that. Okay. So in the public's mind, going to the closest chiropractor, unless your name is Clarence Gonstead. Okay. (laughs) But, but going to the closest chiropractor is how they 
usually choose it unless you know there's been an amazing referral you know uh, but but generally you know you see these signs and especially in south florida um i think within a three mile radius of my office i've counted a hundred chiropractors now that's not a hundred chiropractic separate offices it's still a lot but maybe two in one office three in another and when i you know i counted it up it was a hundred okay so from a business standpoint I was like, well, why, why, you know, am I competing in this paradigm, you know, with everybody else, you know, when there's so much more opportunity to help people. And, you know, unfortunately the public, you know, doesn't differentiate a chiropractor only, you know, based on personality. Right. Right. You know? It's a commodity. But it's a commodity yeah, in their mind. So, yeah. Right, exactly. So all you see, you know, around our our areas, you know, an office science is chiropractor, 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 chiropractor. And it just didn't make any sense to me to do it that way. Yeah. Right. And unfortunately the public, you know, they don't they don't know what we do. You go to a, you go to an upper cervical chiropractor, you think all chiropractors do upper cervical. You go to a, a a Thompson doctor. You think every every chiropractor uses drop tables, so you know your 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 understanding, you know, and comprehension of chiropractic is just based upon your your experience, not based upon really what you're learning. Right. So, I can just imagine, you know, you. Uh... Is it, tell me a little bit more about what happened whenever you first started using laser in your office. Results. That's what I was like getting at. Yeah, not just well, I'm sure results and then revenue too. But Patient results. Uh, I mean, just things that I really saw as miraculous. Okay, I mean, I can give you you know one example, um, and this was when I actually used a, a, a lower powered laser. Okay, one of my first lasers. I had a nurse uh, in the reception area, and she was a new patient filling out paperwork. And my staff came back, you know, into my office and said, "You better come up front. We have a new patient here, and she has tears in her eyes. She's crying." And I said, "What? A new patient, and she's crying? Uh, nobody ever came to my office in tears, you know." Thank God, Billy. I mean, nobody left in tears also. <laughs> but she was in tears. And I you know, went up front. I spoke to her. Her name was Karen. And I says, you know, hey, what, you know, what's wrong? Are you in that much pain? She says, I'm not really in that much physical pain. But emotionally, I'm a wreck. And I said, why? She said, I was just told by my podiatrist that I have to have two toes amputated due to ulcers, diabetic ulcers. And, you know, she says, you know, can, can you help me? You know, can the laser help? Now, I have to tell you, you know, I mean, I'm very enthusiastic about laser and the results, um, but you do have limitations of matter. All chiropractors know that. Right. I didn't know if I can help her. And I told her, I said, you know, I don't know if it's, it's past the point, you know, I don't know if I can manage help some her. expectations. You know, I, I wanted to majorly manage her expectations. Okay. Yeah. Let her know, like, if you're willing to try it, I'm willing to try to. Okay. Um, and then she actually, and, and this was crazy. She actually apologized to me. She says, I'm so sorry. I'm crying. I know they're just my toes. And I said, Karen, I said, you know, Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I said, I'm like, I said, you know, that's a part of your body. I completely, you know, I completely empathize. Like, I wouldn't, you know, I would feel the same way. So we actually, uh, you know, we got started with care. And she had her first laser treatment. And then she came back to me a day later. And when we looked at the ulcers, it was fascinating. They were still there, obviously. Okay. But they looked different. They actually had like a little sheen, like a shininess to them that they didn't have the day before. And we both noticed it. We said it at the same time, like they look different. Uh, and I, you know, and I, I just said, you know what, it, it could be, you know, um, the start of the healing process some granulation tissue. 
Um, I really wasn't sure what was going on, but I just saw that they were different, which was encouraging to me. Okay. Um, but I have to tell you, it was about nine treatments or so, and they completely healed. That's um, so awesome. She didn't have to have the toes amputated. Now, obviously, she saw diabetes and had to work on, you know, um, you know, her health, and but they didn't have to get amputated. And just, you know, serendipitously, you know, as the story goes, um, and again, a lot of the chiropractors will appreciate this, um, her husband was so impressed. I mean, again, you, you do a good thing and you never know, you know, how far sure. that's going to go. And But her husband was so impressed. We became very good friends. You know, we get lunch all the time. We grab dinner. And you know what his profession is? He's a personal injury attorney. Oh, wow. So who do you think he trusts and sends <laughs> his yeah. clients to? Okay. Yes. So, you know, I had no idea when she first came to my office, you know, but that was, that was the story. But the thing is, whenever we go out, you know, he embarrasses me because he always says, oh, you know, he saved my wife's toes, you know, and then, you know, we go through the whole story. But um, so it was, it was those kind of results, you know, I right. started seeing and we have video after video after video of patient testimonials. Okay. Um, I've had patients uh, cancel surgery. Okay. I had a patient that came into the office. She was scheduled for a reverse shoulder replacement surgery. Um, three weeks from the first date of service. And two weeks later, she tells me she canceled her surgery. And I said, really? She says, yeah. She goes, I know there's still degeneration. I still, I know I have arthritis, but I can reach over to my night table now. All the things I couldn't do I can do without pain. So why am I rushing for surgery? Okay. So, I mean, I could tell you, you know, one after another. So that's why I'm so enthusiastic about laser. And that's where, you know, the light bulb went on where, wow, you know, this is much, much bigger than a technology. Okay. Um, so much opportunity with it. So much opportunity to help people because, you know, look, I mean, what is it, about 128,000 people, latest statistics, um, you know, die every year from properly prescribed medication. No, and it's is, cool. is that okay? You yeah. know, all, all the risks with surgery. So I just felt that this goes so well with chiropractic. You know? 100%. And not to get into the philosophy and then the different, the arguments and everything that we have inside of the profession is so frustrating because I think we yeah. all agree, look, we're here to serve people. And right. as you know, I'm not a chiropractor, but uh, sometimes I do think I'm, I'm a little more philosophical than some chiropractors out there. But that's one of the reasons I chose this as a career. So I used to sell rare coins, gold, silver, platinum, and actually did really well doing that. Yeah, I just wasn't satisfied. Right. Like, you know, the bills were paid. We had a knife lifestyle. I just wasn't satisfied. And uh, I wanted something different. I saw a chiropractor was looking for somebody to come do the marketing. He had multiple offices. And uh, I just thought, you know what? One of my dad's best friends growing up was a chiropractor. But even then, I didn't know much about it. I saw him a couple of times, but it was just, you know, I would go in, you know, my neck was hurting from, uh, in the gym, doing military presses, dumbbell presses, both times, or both times I would see him, I'd hurt my neck doing that. And handful of adjustments, tinge unit, slaps me on the butt. If you need anything else, let me know. Like, you know, that's it. I didn't, I was not educated at all. So I go to work for this chiropractor and kind of your experience with this lady, um, Karen, it, it was, I started seeing life change. Now we weren't using the laser. It was just chiropractic. And chiropractic alone, you know, as the, yes. so amazing. But my, but to me, I was like, oh my goodness, why did, uh, why doesn't everybody go to the chiropractor? This is phenomenal. Like the life change we were seeing now carry that forward. Like that's why we do what we do. That's why we've been, you know, we want to help chiropractors get this message out. Uh, and then seeing things like laser, you know, I've even been to different seminars and set through, even though I don't need CE <laughs> uh, yeah. 
You're interested the in ease. it. But I, I've sat through some laser classes before. I just think it's phenomenal and just what they do. Yeah. So I'm, I really like what you guys are doing. And, um, but I think that's what probably everybody listening here, they remember, they know those stories of the lives that they truly, truly impacted. And let's go make more of those. Exactly. And this is another tool to help you make more of those. And you know what? The finances, that's all, that's a byproduct to how many people you serve, right? You know, and how well you serve them. That's all it is. 100%. So, yeah. I really love what you guys are doing. Um, so tell us about how that transitioned into what you guys are doing now. Well, listen, I love what you just said about chiropractic. I love the philosophy you know, I, I, you know, I look at, at the chiropractic philosophy and, you know, I, I mean, free from nerve interference, the body is a self-healing, self-organizing system. I mean, move well, eat well, think well. I mean, this is how we live. And I'm very lucky that I have a wife that, you know, that thinks the same way, right? So we're very congruent there. But from a biz, again, a business perspective, Okay. I think chiropractic is like the best profession in the world, okay, in terms of our philosophy, in terms of what we have to give to the public, in terms of how we can influence, you know, uh, in such a positive way, you know, our communities. Am I allowed to curse on this, though? Yeah. <laughs> go go for it. So well, I think it's a shitty business model. Yeah, I understand. I, I think it is. I mean... The business model doesn't make any sense to me. The, the philosophy makes all the sense in the world. Okay. But again, why be in a business until we have all of our organizations coming together, right? You know, all, and, and really, you know, creating more awareness to the general public. I mean, look, big pharma does a great job at it. Okay. I mean, they, People know about drugs. Every other commercial on TV is a drug commercial. Right. right. And we're one of the only countries, I think there's only one other country in the world that allows right. pharmaceutical companies to advertise on TV. To consumers, you know, ask your right. doctor, right? Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. It's ter you know, it, so look, everything is driven by money, and, you know, unfortunately or fortunately. It's just, it's how it is, okay? So from a business model perspective, our amazing profession, I think, really lacks because why would you want to be in a profession, yep. you know, that, that again, is only attracting 10% of the population because we don't have, uh, you know, the money, the, you know, the finances to really get that awareness out there. Right. Why be in a profession that, you know, and have a business that you're only seeing people from a five to 10 mile radius, you know, for 90% or 95% of the patients. Again, that that's an issue. Why be in a business that limits you? to just like one thing to do when you can help people in, in other ways. And also why be in a business that your consumer, your, your potential customer is unaware of all the great things that you can do. They only think, you know, that you do limited things. Okay. So really, you know, a ha ha moment. I, I said this recently, I said, you know, this was a unintentional wet dreaming. Meaning I had an idea in the shower. Okay. It just, it, I was in the shower. I was like, you know, you get into a state of what they call transient hypofrontality, meaning that when your brain just shuts off and that happens when you're just lying, you know, like, like laying down and resting or you're in the shower swimming. Okay. You get into that state of transient hypofrontality that, that thinking part of the mind, it just kind of, calms down and that's where the great ideas come in okay so what happens in the shower you know that's what i call it because it happens a lot i get you know you just get the ideas and i said you know what lasers a business model it's not just a piece of equipment and what you know we can do is you know create a model where we have the chiropractic side and then you have the laser side and attract all the people that don't want to see a chiropractor yet, okay, 
but have these people that are misinformed or a little weary or fearful, have them come in for something that they're not fearful of. And then you have the opportunity to gently introduce them to other things that you do like chiropractic. Okay. So, you know, have chiropractic as an element, but it doesn't have to be front and center stage. So then, you know, I was realizing, you know, I was driving my car and I saw, um, you know, a very familiar uh, retail establishment. I, I saw Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins. And I said, that's it. Okay. The Dunkin' Donuts is the chiropractic and the Baskin Robbins is the laser center. Two complete separate identities under one roof, but offering something that, you know, if you were in the mood for coffee, you're not thinking about ice cream. And if, you know, you're ready for the 31 flavors, you're not, you know, interested in going for coffee. So why not have, you know, two businesses under one roof? rather than having to open up, like most chiropractors don't realize they have those acres of diamonds in their own practice. They have a whole nother business in their office and they're not leveraging that opportunity. They're not maximizing the opportunity because you know they're basically seeing, you know, most patients coming in for back and neck, the docs that are, are you know, really great communicators and have some charisma, you know, some of those patients are coming in, you know, for, uh, more of the chiropractic, you know, philosophy. Um, but a lot of chiropractors, you know, we're just, you know, back and neck. And, you know, we're really missing, you know, the boat there. So the laser pain center side now gives the doctors, again, a whole separate profit center. It's like, it's like, you know, I've spoken to some docs that have joined our group and, and you know, in some of the initial conversations, I've actually, I could tell, you know, I said, listen, tell your wife, you don't stop looking to open up a Jersey Mike's, you know, stop looking to open up a subway. Cause they're, you know, a lot of guys are really frustrated. It's like, you know, I hear it all the time. Like they had enough. They're looking for something else. They can't stand the decreased insurance reimbursements, you know, and getting these letters, you know, and, 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 you know, having to deal with all this paperwork and documentation where what we're doing is we gave them a solution for a private pay cash-based business. And, and in a lot of cases, you know, this is actually, they're actually doing better financially on the laser side than they are on the Cairo side, but they're still enjoying the Cairo side. Okay. So, you know, it's a complete turnkey business model. We actually call it the unfranchised model because we're, we're giving the doctors a whole business model okay but they don't have the huge you know initial upfront franchise fee we don't take a percentage of monthly gross revenue um, we tell them you know best practices you know what are the best ideas and ways to do it but they don't have to follow it um and it's just you know it's working out great you know i just feel like we're helping so many more people uh, we actually have a a, a, a trademark motto for our group, which is ditch the drugs and skip the scalpel. So, you know, to get up in the morning and have a much, much bigger purpose and passion than just getting up and saying, you know, another day at the office, another day, you know, fighting with the insurance companies, you know, another day, you know, kind of feeling like I want to, you know, do more or do something else. Uh, we have a solution for that. Think about all the people out there right now that are driving past your office that you sit next to, or, you know, the table next to you at the restaurants that, you know, you pass at the grocery store that need this. Yes, we can all agree they need chiropractic, but that are actually looking for different kinds of pain relief, right? Like they're, there are people that you can serve in your area that laid in bed last night, couldn't sleep because of something you can fix with the right tools. Right. So, yeah. Well, think about it. You know, uh, even as a chiropractor, 
with tools other than laser, you know, there's still ways to work on shoulders and knees and ankles and feet. Right. I don't think, you know, as well, I love laser, you know, I love everything it does. But if the patient, you know, doesn't listen, the product is what you perceive it to be. Okay. If the product doesn't perceive you to be the expert, if the patient doesn't perceive you to be the expert, then they may have you know, a rotator cuff issue, but not really have the confidence, you know, or think that, you know, you're going to be the right, you know, they're going to go right to the ortho. Yep. Right to the physical therapist or the patient that has plantar fasciitis, you know, even though, you know, you can help them, they may not feel that you're the specialist because again, once again, in their mind, it's that brain tattoo of, you know, Oh, chiropractors treat back and neck, back and neck, you know, even though we know that's just our portal of entry into the system, that's a big educational job right. that we don't have the luxury of you know, big industry and, and pharma, you know, putting that out there. And you know how much work that is to change, you know, the way people think about that. So when the public sees us adjusting a neck or adjusting a back, they think we're back and neck doctors. So again, why not take the path of, you know, least resistance and have patients come in for something that they don't fear or they're not misinformed? Right. And there's already enough people talking about it. There's already enough kind of social acceptance, if you will, of people using lasers for all kinds of treatments, like you mentioned at the beginning. Right. So right. It's such a great opportunity. So uh, you guys have an event coming up here on a Saturday, November 9th. Uh, let's Correct. talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So uh, this is our third annual event. It's called Skip the Scalpel 2024. And we have, you know, oh boy, amazing speakers. Uh, we have Dr. Nelson Marquina, who is Chief Science Officer for USA Laser Biotech. If you listen to 10 minutes of Dr. Nelson, you'd be like, I got to get 10 lasers. You know, he, he is so knowledgeable. And he's going to be speaking on laser therapy for the joints for disc and for peripheral neuropathy. I love, he, he is just so in depth. He has such great knowledge. Um, you know, love listening to him. Uh, last couple of years, we had Dr. Michael Mathisi, who also teaches our doctors about laser. You know, we have, a, we have clinical advisors, you know, for our group. Um, then we have other speakers such as um, Adam Jablin and, um, uh, uh, Paris, Brian Paris, incredible, you know, more, more from the mindset, you know, standpoint, um, we have Michelle Geller, that's going to be speaking on, you know, developing your dream team, you know, um, so, you know, really the whole, the seminar really helps, you know, our current doctors, you know, to really up their game, you know, and, and, you know, last year we got such great response, like, you know, hey, you know, I got back to the office and this week I just started up, you know, four new cases on Monday. And, you know, everyone goes back with a lot of great energy and information. Um, and every year, you know, this is year three. It's going to it's going to top last year's. It's really it's a fantastic event. And if, you know, uh, people don't use your laser yet and they want to, you know, just kind of check it out and see what we do and how it works. uh you know, they could just check it out. It's uh, skip the scalpel summit.com. If someone's not, let's say they're listening to this after the, uh, you know, after the event, but, uh, or for whatever reason, they can't make the event, but they just want to know more about what it is you guys do. Sure. Uh, what's the best way for them to get in contact with you? Yeah. So our website is uh, the lasermasters.com. We also have a national directory of providers, which is reliefnowlaser.com. So, you know, what we do is, you know, we have providers all across the country. Uh, we actually have a provider in Dubai. Um, and, you know, from the ground up, they also, you know, communicate this message that we're talking about. And then from the top down, we're communicating the message, you know, to the public. Uh, you know, we recently were on uh, NBC News, Morning News, 
Uh, we have a Times Square billboard coming up. Uh, you know, just more awareness, more branding. You know, we really want to make an impact and again, help society to ditch the drugs as much as possible, skip the scalpel as much as possible. Um, and at the same time, you know, it really is, it's terrible that, you know, a lot of the docs we speak to, you know, again, and, and I, I wasn't kidding, like they're ready to go up. They're ready to go, you know, buy a franchise or a Jersey Mike's or, you know, it, 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 we have so much to give and we have such great knowledge and information. And, um, you know, I would hate to see losing docs in the profession because, like I said earlier, the business model literally is terrible, but it's an incredible profession. So then how do we take that incredible profession and bring a great business model to it. And really that's what I think we've done. So if any docs are interested in that, they should get in contact, you know, um, and, and they can call uh, me directly. I'll give you my cell number, you know, 954-296-8473. Uh, I'm happy to speak to anybody because we are on a mission to really make, you know, societal change. We're on a mission to help our brothers, you know, our, our fellow, you know, um, chiropractors, to really, you know, we deserve to live better lives. We deserve to be happy. You know, we're so many guys just and gals feel burnt out. And yeah. I feel that we we have a solution to the burnout. And yeah. I can't tell you, Billy, how many docs, like I spoke to a doc yesterday. He's like, I feel so reinvigorated. I feel so yes. re-energized. Like, thank you. Because, New hope. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. now they're doing it because we get texts all the time of i mean if i told you some of the numbers you'd probably fall off your chair okay like doctors that were just you know straight chiropractors and you know what their numbers are we have members in our group that were literally you know just workers comp and personal injury they didn't even know what a private pay was like oh you can collect cash you can take credit cards and if i told you the numbers i'm telling you you know it it, it, it blows my mind you know, I, I'm almost in disbelief at, at what I'm seeing. So, you know, the model works, but we do a lot for the members. I mean, they all get their own websites. They're on the national directory. We have a whole business model for them. You know, for instance, like they get a portal, a uh, password protected portal on their website with everything from training. You know, all the doctors get trained through the American Institute of Medical Laser Application. They print out certificates. We help train their staff. We do bi-weekly Zoom calls, weekly strategy calls, coaching calls with the doctors. The um, the portal has research and um, um, everything that they need, all the graphics. We have a printing portal. It is, again, we're giving more than, than most business models um, where docs would be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. Actually, I know of. I know of a laser franchise that literally two now, but but that literally are hundreds of thousands of dollars to get involved where we're literally pennies on the dollar to give the doctors a brand new business. So, you know, it, it's really gratifying, you know, to see docs that were kind of on the verge of, I'm looking for a new profession. Matter of fact, I have a doc that texted me, like he was done. And then he was looking, you know, hey, is the joint hiring? Or, you know, maybe I'll get into a wow. new profession. And literally said, you threw us a lifeline, you know, and now he's having record months. Okay. So, you know, yeah. we're helping the patients to live better lives. We're helping the patients, you know, to, again, avoid drugs and surgery when they can. And we're helping the doctors to literally, you know, be the successes that they're supposed to be. But the business, model, yeah. with the business model, it changes. That works. Yeah. I, I think I'm sure there's people listening to this right now that there's that little spark of this is probably it. This is what I've been looking for because we all want to help more people yeah. and we get frustrated whenever, you know, we've got patients that are missing appointments. We're not getting the new patients that we did in the past that, uh, you know, not everybody's compliant or complaining, you know, insurance issues, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
And then there's, there's this, there's like the opportunity. One of my key motivations is opportunity. Yeah. That's just, I love that. And I love ser serving people. But the fact that you guys, like you said, you're taking the acres of diamonds that they already have that they're not even looking at the potential that's there and they're struggling in their practice, but yet you add this one piece and now it changes everything. The impact that you make on your, your community, the new patients that end up coming in, becoming chiropractic patients, because now they, you know, they've walked in, they've seen, you know, you get to educate them, you know. They see that you're not, you're not a three-headed monster. <laughs> right. Right. Thing, they see right. that. Oh, wow. He's a, he's yeah, a nice I didn't, guy. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, so, I, excuse me. I love what you guys are doing. I think it's fantastic. Um, so anything I can do to help, you know, let me know. Thank you so much for being on. Uh, so if you guys want to reach out, uh, it's the lasermasters.com is how you can find out more information and then skip the scalpel summit.com is more information on the event coming up in November. Correct. So, all right. Correct. Thank yeah, you so listen. much. I, any closing thoughts? Well, the closing thought is, is that, you know, I know a lot of guys are kind of stuck. I hear it all the time. And it really comes down to changing the way that you look at things. Right. I mean, I love, I love the quote by, you know, um, uh, Wayne Dyer, you know, um, where he said, you know, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Yep. So stop looking at laser as a modality and start looking at a business model and then everything changes. That's really what happened. Yeah, this is great. Thank you so much for being on. Billy, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for having me today. And you should come down to the, uh, the summit too. All right. Uh, All right. I'm going to see about being there. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.